Um, hello, and... Oh, very loud. <laughs> Hello to Kyrivo, welcome. Uh, my audio, can everyone still hear me? Can everyone still hear the game? You can hear me and the game. Perfect. Thank you, Kyrivo. <laughs> I just love the first person and like intro. Oh yeah, well I had to I had to quit out of the game in order to get the intro back in, uh, the intro to run again. So that'll probably be it. Tefrax says I've got one eye out the door for grocery delivery. Oh okay. All right, back in the game. I'm gonna keep going. So we're helping Pat. We're a stranger to Pat, but he trusts us because of our soulful eyes. He believes someone in his family is going to try and have him killed at the event this evening, which also happens to be his birthday. So, <laughs> yeah, call me enveloped. I've got like a little, this is lovely. This art is by uh, Hex Effa, which is, I, I've left links to um, them and, and, and their um, commissions and, and social media uh, in my description. I think they did a really amazing job on it. <laughs> it's nice to have a visual presence in this stream now. Yes, a dragon! Calmly enveloped. So. Anyway. We've spoken, we've done this quest. Let's see what other, other activities we might find. JP says, That cloud looks like a duck. And that's all they have to say? Tin Lizzie says, um, hello. Do you mind stepping approximately three to seven steps to the right? You're blocking the sun, and the luminous scales highlighter I applied is not living up to its customary review section. <laughs> I've been out here. Uh, all day! With my new phone trying to get the perfect shot, but I just can't seem to look effortless enough. This one here? I totally have an expression, which is a super no-no in selfie town. I need to look just the right amount disaffected, with just the right amount of lip gloss. This gloss won't pay for itself, after all. Is she like an Instagram person? This is awesome. Thanks for the kind words about my uh, dragon art. Colin Velt says, sorry, just made me think specifically of a Drake for some reason. Oh, that's fine. I think Drake is a, a good fit. It, it kind of all falls into the, under the head, like, super category of dragon for me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, cuz I pay for it. Me. Like, I buy it. Uh, whom? Let's not forget we have to yell whom at people. I'm Lizzie, but I've been trying to get everyone to start calling me Elizabeth Harry. <laughs> That's pretty good. Sadly, much like my attempts to be an influencer, it doesn't seem to be happening. Speaking of, I'm promoting Fizzy Fruit La Croc this week on my social medias. Would you like to try some? It's soda water that a fruit farmer thought about in passing, giving it just enough fruity essence to confuse the palate. Oh. <laughs> Fizzy Fruit La Croc, a consideration of strawberry. <laughs> That's a La Croix reference, right? We don't have that here, but I know it. It's like San Pellegrino, but like in America, I think. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Pat? Pat? 
You mean Joni's cousin Pat? Oh my god, Pat is hilarious! Last year when I spent the holidays with Joni's family, Pat got so punked on eggnog. So punked? He thought that Christmas Tree was a hired assassin and ran face first into a Santa themed nutcracker display to escape. It took us two hours to get all the walnut shells out of his ears and to get him to stop wearing the beard as a disguise. He's kind of a paranoid guy. Totally nice though. Love that bandana. <laughs> Tefrak says, ah, the lingering glance from across a crowded room approached a flavoring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We'll ask about the event. I don't know, are you here spying for Pat? He's not supposed to know anything about this, you feel me? I didn't even post about it on Snootbook. Snootbook! Or Pictogram? Or my live journal? The <laughs> live journal's just in here. Or my dead journal. I didn't even write it down in my bullet journal just to be extra safe. Plus then I save on bullets. <laughs> Ooh, next. Well, maybe if you could help me out, I could give you just a little info, though. You know, a little you stan my account and I stan yours. See, even though I'm totally a super tech-savvy, super popular pictogram user with over seven followers that aren't blood-related to me, I still am having some trouble with my new phone. <laughs> I can't get through these lines, they're too good. Jabal, hello and welcome! <laughs> Jabal's a Schrodinger's cat journal. Oh no. I tried to import my photos and they got all dinked up. I can't post dinked photos. And what will my followers do if they are denied the knowledge of their parasocial BFF Lizzie's most recent vegan cafe exploits? Riot, that's what, oh my gosh, Marlon's got big time zooms. I don't know if you could hear that, but. <laughs> Riot, that's what. Hashtag give peas a chance. Give peas. So, will you help me fix my pics? Okay, we gotta undink them up. Assemble the picks to help her get clicks. Unmix the picks. I'll play. Let's do this. The photos are divided into sections. Click each section to stop it in place. Assemble a complete photo to win the round. Okay. Yes, thank you. We should totally get a selfie of this moment. Hold on, let me get my stick out of its Swarovski studded holster. I've got lives? Oh, uh... Oh, okay. There's a little delay. Oh, no, no. No, no, I'm not good at this. Hey, this isn't right at all. Can you try a little harder, please? Sorry. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, sand. Yes! Success! Beach date! The old Penny B! <laughs> oh wow. The old Penny B wasn't. wasn't that pinball earlier? I'm screaming. Literally! Hashtag ah! <laughs> Uh, I got my life back. Okay. Oh no, this one's way harder. Okay, let's start with an easy one at the top. I uh, I didn't mean to do that one. Okay, after there we go. Like the dress. Okay. Oh no no I ruined it. Well I. Doesn't matter now, I've ruined it. Oh, it's so hard. Ugh, terrible. Try again, ding dong. Rude. Okay. 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 I see little feet, and then I click. Yes! Woohoo! Wee! I love this dress! You should document times when you feel cute, so when you're old and cuter, you can look back at the makings of adorability brewing. That's actually a really- I, that's way more wholesome than I thought that was gonna go. 
<laughs> Aww. Okay. Let's do the lights. That seems like an easier one. Okay, okay. Oh no, I ruined it! No! Again, again, again! This is still all dinked up! Doink it! Donk it properly, you goon! Don't call me a goon! Okay, okay. Let's do the lights again. Okay. So, there. So I think it's after the dress. Okay. After the legs. Okay, after the door. No! It was so close! This is still all dinked up! Donk it properly, you goon! Alright, alright, alright. Ah! Uh. Okay, after the face. Mm. After the blue shirt. Okay, after the black skirt. Uh, after the legs. And then after the door. Ooh, okay. Please let that be all of them. <laughs> Jamal says the tension is too high for a Wednesday afternoon. Nice, though, TVH, this concert was kind of a bummer. I like screaming my feelings as much as the next 20-something, but aspirating to lead singer Sweat from the fifth row was a lot. <laughs> Uploading and posted! Thank you so much. I think people are really going to like these ones. Especially these cute candidates of Joni. Jo Joni is the best. Alright. Next. <laughs> you got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. I love the OGs. <laughs> Thanks for the cheer. <laughs> Calmly enveloped. How come it's like when I take candidates of my significant gator? They're cute and perfect. Oh, are you and Joni a couple? Joni was the, the one who played... Pinny B, the pin the pinball cool person. But when Joni takes them of me, they're like this. Hashtag relatable relationship. <laughs> oh yeah, about the event. Well, like, don't tell Pat, but I totally did the playlist for it. I think he's going to be super surprised. But like, not as surprised as the time he opened the closet and a coat fell on him. He screamed so hard that he projectile vomited several liters of cranberry sauce. That is graphic. <laughs> Content warnings, bodily fluids, Thanksgiving. Oh no. Those should come first. <laughs> Thanks again for all your help, stranger. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> I wish you didn't call me a goon, but I was pretty good. Oh, unknown. Hello, hello, your pal, the city aficionado here. I just wanted to make sure you know about this cool lo local place called Nana Roo's Antiques. I know what you're thinking, antiques are for grandmas. And you're right, the whole shop is run by a grandma. Well, a nana, Nana Roo. There's a great local legend about the place that it's super haunted by like five billion ghosts. <laughs> What's really haunting though is the prices, Raffle. Just a little shopping humor from me to you. I'm not really rolling on the floor. Anyway, Nana Roo is as much of a card shark as she is a deal shark, so be careful. But if you have time, defo check out her colorful shop. It's tons of fun. Okay. Alright. All right, let's see what's next. Um, no puzzle pieces. I think I've already got the puzzle piece from this area. We haven't spoken to these two yet. At the Eat Emergency. Welcome to Eat Emergency, where your hunger is sated with urgency. Today's specials are 12 cc's of sliders, which come with chips or saline. 
You can add a side salad if you meet your deductible. <laughs> okay. Lil Giovanni? Huh? I'm not doing anything! I mean, well, that's not exactly true. I'm standing here. I'm existing somewhat. My snoot is running from ragweed allergies. I'm not doing anything that has to do with this soda machine, though. Nope. Nothing at all. All right, it's time to yell whom? Whom? Oh, LJ, hello! This game is so good, LJ. <laughs> I highly recommend it. I'm Giovanni. Just a, a totally cool gator teen who hangs out at the park by himself with the soda. <laughs> what do you know about Pat, Lil Giovanni? Everyone just yells whomst. <laughs> Balsa sliders are a kind of tortoise turtle? Oh. Gee. Pat? You mean my cousin Pat? Everyone is related to Pat! Yeah, he's great. We used to play a lot more when I was a little kid, but I still think he's pretty cool. Sometimes he'll meet me at the mall food court after school and we get nachos. I'm lactose intolerant, so my dad doesn't let me have that stuff usually because it makes me blow chunks. Ugh. But Pat doesn't mind holding my hoodie back while I spew. He's a total bro. <laughs> oh, this is good. LJ says Giovanni was me as a teen. <laughs> Tephrax's slide is a mini bug as in the US. Oh! Today I learned. The event? Oh, the... what? Event? The birthday party! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, okay, you got me. I'll spill my guts. When I said I wasn't doing anything earlier, it was sort of maybe definitely a lie. You see that soda machine right there? The truth is, I'm a bit of a cola connoisseur, and this fountain in particular is a beaut. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh. All the best, most classic flavors. Sodas so rare they stopped making them in the 90s! It's like time stopped here, letting me pickle my pubescent organs in carbonated bliss. Once, at this very spot, I mixed a soda combo so great that the last of my baby teeth disintegrated with a slide whistle noise. <laughs> what? Sadly, no matter how I try, I can't seem to get the flavor right again. So I was kind of hoping you'd help me rediscover it? Maybe if we figure it out, I can help you with something. Oh, I want to do this. Hello and welcome, Wing! Wing says she must really like nachos. This is a boy. This is... He, him, I think. Yeah, he. This incredible line. <laughs> it was very powerful. Mix up the drinks and see what he thinks. Hooked on tonics. Let's go. I'll play. Try to follow Giovanni's soda instructions. I'm... I prepared for this. I have played so many games when I was a teenager that were just, like, flash games of, like the pizzerias and ice cream shops and you just had to do everything really quickly. I'll do- I'll do great, I'm sure. Ooh, okay. Uh, move the cup to the right to see the recipes, then up to the fountains to add a flavor. Oh, that sounds tough. When you're ready, click on Giovanni to start his taste test. Oh no, Merlin's coming. Okay, he left. We're okay. <laughs> I need to concentrate. You have my recipe card. Those are the sodas I've already invented. How can I make something totally new and different? I don't know, it feels like a lot of pressure. I guess, um, can I taste the Dr. Soda? I can't remember what it's like. The Dr. Soda? The cool guy juice is cold cola and fruit. This is the dentist plus lemon is a face melter. Dr. Giggler is Dr. Soda and spider. Okay. They want to taste the doctor soda. Well, he wants to taste the doctor soda. Okay. Oh, that's right. I remember doctor soda now. I hate this soda. It tastes like chemicals. I need to wash that taste out of my mouth. Give me the dentist's IRA. Okay. All right. Here you go. 
Mmm, <laughs> yes, the sweet sugary rush of dentist's IRA. Dentist IRA Ray is the best, most delicious, most addictive soda of all time. It's my very favorite. Maybe I can take inspiration from one of my old recipes. Can you look at my recipe card and make me a face melter? Right, that's the dentist's IRA. And a lemon. A lemon? And sick lemon. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Tephrax says this game goes all in for the aesthetic and absolutely nails it. Agreed. Alright, face melter. Inspiring flavor. Yes, this is masterful. You're a genius, past Giovanni. Let's use face melter as a base. But how do I make a face melter even better? That's the question. Oh no, I'm cracking under the pressure of my own success. Let's try mixing face melter and Dr. Giggler together, maybe? Does that sound good? All right. Dr. Giggler is Dr. Soda plus a bug. Bug cream, okay. So let's do the dentist IRA and the sick lemon. The sick lemon. Dr. Soda and the bug cream. Oh! Unexpected! <laughs> Hi, Eldra Stream, welcome! Eldra says this game is so cute. It's so cute. It's so good. <laughs> Alright. Oh, it's okay, but I expected it to be better. Take this and let me think. What's wrong with this soda mix? Maybe I'm just bad at mixing sodas. I guess it could be a weird flavor though. Does Dr. Givler have the bad flavor in it? The one from earlier? That was Dr. Soda. Combine the two recipes again and this time take out the flavor I didn't like. Okay. Dentist IRA. Thick lemon. All right, everyone, close your eyes. It's bug cream. Ugh. Hi, Nine! Welcome! <laughs> Nine says, well, that's deeply alarming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> LJ says, at least it's truth in advertising. Jubal says, nothing wrong with some good, honest protein. <laughs> LJ says, chunky. That's perfect! You totally nailed it! I didn't waste any lives. I'm so good at following directions. In your honor, I'm going to name this drink... Zit pop, zit pop, no. Thanks for your help. Am I wrong? Aren't zits spots in the U.S. P pimples? Woo. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow, your soda mixing skills are truly a force to be reckoned with. You got a family member badge. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. Colin Velp says yes, zits are that. Oh dear. <laughs> I knew when I saw you. There was a sticky but pimpled teen inside you, just waiting to be lured out to make the perfect sugary concoction. <laughs> You're not wrong. I I too was a be pimpled teen obsessed with fizzy drinks, so Eldritch says, I'm loving your little dragon, Abby, by the way. Thank you. This was made by Hexepha. Um, they're, they're in my about section. They're really, really talented artist. <laughs> Wings is just artfully shaped eyes. What, the bugs? That's a nice thought. I've been preparing an extra special beverage for Pat. It's gonna be killer! Killer awesome, I mean. Not like it will kill him. He does get startled pretty easy, though. Sudden moves tend to make him dive action movie style out of plate glass windows. It's pretty cool. Thanks again for your help, Flavor Master. See you tonight. <laughs> well, we still haven't found the totally real assassin. This is going well. Tommy Belt says it might have fallen out of use, though? Yeah, I, I don't know either. 
All right. Please don't click and drag on the grass. Well, I will if I want to. All right. We've spoken to everyone here except for this fatherly looking gentleman over by the bin. Oh, it's probably a barbecue, isn't it? Two ton Tony. Hey, kiddo. How are you doing today? Me? Any day above the ground, right? Ha 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 ha. Just a little mortality joke for you, since I can only relate to my subconscious fears through deflection. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hi, deflection. I'm dad. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing it. Some days, though, are better than others, and today's one of the better days. You see this big guy right here? This sweet piece of metal is the Grill Maestro 300X, the undisputed king of the finest grilling technology man has ever known. Yep, can't wait to fire this baby up and do some proper firing. Now all I gotta do is figure out how to start it. And cook with it. Oh. <laughs> the only fault is it's my gameplay and I'll click if I want to. <laughs> uh. And hopefully stop it before the rising flames consume us all. Whom? <laughs> my students call me Mr. Mom Jeans behind my back, but you can call me Tony. <laughs> Tell you the truth though, you can call me whatever you want, so long as you don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> I have punished my internal organs with intense meats and radioactive food colorings for several decades. My best years are behind me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Pat? Of course I know Pat. That's one of my boys. The smaller one of them that wears a hat. He's a good kid, but a little skittish. Bit of a hair trigger on him. Between you and me, I think that bun could have used a little more time in the oven. That's so awful. <laughs> I convey affection through heartless critique. I learned it from my father. Oh no. Hi, my father. I'm dad. This man is on the verge of a breakdown. <laughs> oh no. Uh. <laughs> Nine says I keep seeing that sign remember remembering Zork Grand Inquisitor's sign warning you not to throck the grass. Throck being a spell that makes plants grow. And this being Zork, if you cast Throck on the grass, it eats you. Oh my gosh. I don't know that game, but that sounds fun. LJ says, why is everyone in this game so relatable? <laughs> The event? The event, huh? Not sure how much I can tell you about that. Unless you're talking about my wife stopping her yammering, now there's an event I'd like to see. That's a terrible joke. Ha 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 Well, actually, I love her very much and deeply appreciate the mutual respect and affection that is present between us. Thank you for clarifying, Two-Ton Tony. <laughs> Sorry. I only know how to communicate in relationships through dated humor that stems from the sexism present in sitcoms. That's rough. <laughs> Maybe I should start reading those square things. With the paper? <laughs> yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> Books. <laughs> oh no. Anywho, you seem like a gator that knows their way around a grill. Let's say hypothetically that I needed a little help getting this beauty of a machine going. I know my lips get a little looser when I hear that fine sizzle of meat being cooked to dadly perfection. So maybe you could lend me a hand, kiddo. Let's go. We're gonna help this dad grill some meat. Save this grill master from different disasters. Manic Pixie Dream Grill. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it's a good one. Okay, let's go. I'll play. Problems keep spawning on this terrible grill. Hold the correct tool over a problem for two seconds to fix it. Fire extinguisher. Fan. That's like for smoke. That's for fire. And like a repairer, I guess? Watch out for special- like it's like a... Torch? Watch out for special problems and obstacles. Oh, okay, let's go. Ooh. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, I love the hamster wheel. <laughs> okay. It's a fan, there's an extinguisher. Uh, oh, uh, no, wait, the extinguisher. Oh no, it's hard to hold. A fan. Oh. Okay. Uh. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Don't feel like that would fix the problem, but... Ooh. Okay, I think we're getting the hang of this. I'm gonna turn up the gas a bit and see if we can really get cooking. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Uh, fan. Fire. Look at this guy. How do I wake them up? How do- How- Whoa, no! Okay, uh... Smoke? Okay. Oh no. What am I supposed to do about the power? Oh, they're back up. They're back up. <laughs> Is there a TV? <laughs> I can't reach out right now. I'm too- I'm too into it. You! I mean we are doing great! Just a little more and I think we'll have this thing attempt. Oh no, oh no. How much screen am I going to be able to see this time? There's nothing over here. <laughs> oh! What? What are you doing? Oh, there's fire over here. Oh no! Okay. Oh, oh, it, oh that, that little gremlin is pushing everything. Okay, fire. Okay, fan. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry I can't look at chat right now. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. I'm not sure why he keeps pushing me to look at the TV. I don't see anything. Did I do it? <laughs> what did I do wrong? What was I missing? I was clicking on the TV. What people said. Teleporting bucket, nice accessory. How did the spatula catch for- I don't know. Um. Teferak says surely with your new avatar you get plus two to fire handling. <laughs> oh no. Jabal says changed TV chat. There was a fire on the TV because- Oh, he was- I should have put fire on the TV because he was cold. Aldrich, you're a genius. Oh, I can't believe I failed. Nine says, so has V been a dragon this whole time and I just never figured it out? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I've always been, well, certainly I've always been very envious of all the many dragons in, that we see in chat, so. <laughs> I, I'm very pleased to have achieved dragon in, in some, some form. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going back in because I really want to succeed at this. Get fixed. Aha. Next phase. I won't pick it up. Oh. Okay. I think I'm doing better this time. I think this is go- I think th I think this is happening. Alright. Round three. Let's get the fan. Okay. Oh, I don't want Marty! No, Marty, no! Hang- hang on. The TV's on fire. Okay. I need to fix this. 
need the fan. I need the fire extinguisher. Okay. Oh, success! Mammy Pixie Dream Grill, success! Yes, 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 yes. Calmly envelops as a dragon who is a witch of crows? Yes. <laughs> LJ says, um, is that small alligator child turning that wheel? It did appear so. Alright. We did it. Amazing, ain't she a beaut? Totally not terrifying at all with the sheer amount of things going on with a little man in overalls living inside it. Extremely normal. <laughs> you got a family member badge. Oh, jeez. I love saying, oh, jeez. <laughs> Deflection. Thanks for helping me out today, kiddo. About the event. I can't say too much, but I gotta brag about the balloons I got for it. My boy Pat just loves those colorful sacks of air. Probably why he loves his old man here so much too. <laughs> My body is aging rapidly. No one can stop the forward cycle of time. See you tonight, kiddo. Eight sharp. Don't be late. Ooh, I'm invited to, th to the event. Okay, I think... Has any of this changed? I think we might have... Let me just check there's not a... <gasps> ah! Puzzle piece! I'm finding puzzle pieces. Um, I think we might have found everything in, th in this area. So... I think it's time to move on. So where haven't we been? I don't think we've been to the fun district yet, right? Let's go! Ultra's dream, those are very appropriate emotes. Thank you. <laughs> Just looking for puzzle pieces, don't mind me. Just clicking everywhere. Uh, hey, it's me again, Pat. It's almost four and I could really use your help. Do you know anything about shoes? And the wearing of them therein? A couple things. Perfect! Could you come meet me at my hotel room? Just make sure you aren't followed by any shifty characters. Or college age campuses and cargo shorts. I already gave all my dollar bills to that guy pretending to be a statue outside 4th Street. I'm on my way. Okay, it's time to go see Pat. Tavarax is hopefully not crocodile shoes. Ooh. Uh, hello? Nervous Dairy. Good evening to you, fellow traveler. Have you come to imbibe some ales after your long journey as well? Garçon, fetch us your finest novelty wine based on a popular sci-fi tearful television show. Nice suit. I like dabbling in a little bit of cosplay myself. Why, just last year at Alligator Comic Con, I dressed as a character of my own creation, Derelis, Great Wizard of the North. I am the kind of person who would cosplay an OC, <laughs> so uh, this is a big mood. My brother Mickey helped me put it together, though he did get it a bit slimy. Whom? <laughs> I'm Derry, known as the Terror of the East Side, and most magics the happen- <laughs> Magics the happening card game circles! Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh. On campus, I'm known as Terra of the AP Biolab, or the one with that haircut. <laughs> I found a puzzle piece! Oh, jeez. Pat? Pat is my second cousin, as well as my second favorite person to play Dungeons and Dragons with. The first being my internet friend, Carl, whose dad got rich bitecoin mining. Bitecoin? Pat's a bard, so you know. Pretty party useless. Oh, shots fired! Great singing voice, though. He can really wail on that juice hop. Juice hop? The event? Yeah, it's a party. What, am I not supposed to say that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bal, I was, I was hoping you hadn't heard that. I knew. <laughs> Eldritch says them's fighting words. <laughs> Everyone who's ever played a bard in chat is suddenly furious. 
And of course we have an actual bard here with Jubal. <laughs> you got a family member badge. Oh jeez. Huh? You're leaving already? Well, safe travels, my fellow traverser of the mortal plane. Perhaps we will meet again in another realm or on an internet forum for role playing. <laughs> Hello, esteemed guest. Mr. Pat asked me to inform you to come straight to his hotel room upon arrival. I love Bub. He also asked me to warn you to knock first in case he was wearing pants. But not to say that second part out loud. Kindly forget what I just said and come with me. I'll walk you to Mr. Pat's room at once. Okay. If you'd be so kind as to click and drag along this hallway, we should arrive shortly. Alright, let's go. Oh my, how embarrassing. Please don't tell the internet we've had a biohazardous incident. Again. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, esteemed guest. We've now arrived. Mr. Pat is expecting you. Please just knock in case he's... Have a Johnny of a day! <laughs> uh, alright. Hi, Pat. Welcome back! I was just trying on some per- Nothing. I wasn't doing anything, actually. So, have you talked to more of the, my family? Found out any secret... plans? You think they're throwing me a- No, no, you're totally wrong about that! I would definitely know if they were doing that! Plus, it sounds a little far-fetched, don't you think? A birthday party on your birthday? You can't pull one over on old Pat on his birthday, that's what I always say. Well, I say it sometimes. Like, once a year? No way, they're definitely putting together a system systematic plan to end my moderate to small life. But I appreciate you putting the thought in. Maybe if you could talk to a few more people, you'll find out something we can really use. In the meantime, though, I actually called you back here because I needed your help. You see, I'm having a problem. A shoe-related problem. I don't usually wear them. But I figured if I did tonight, maybe I'd have a better luck hot-footing it out of the event, safety if I need to. The issue isn't my usual shoeless, pantsless nature, but the drawers where I actually keep all my things. Last week my Nana Rue gifted me an antique armoire from her shop as an early birthday present. It's big, spacious, practical, and so super haunted that it's leaving a weird stain on the parquet flooring just by existing. I haven't been able to find any of my shoes, and whenever I open a drawer, weird stuff happens. Here, why don't you see for yourself? It's game time. Let's go. Soul searching. Peruse for shoes. I'll play. Find a pair of Pat's favorite shoes by clicking on these suspicious drawers. Be careful. If Pat gets too scared, he'll give up on shoes forever. <laughs> After each round, the contents of the drawers will shuffle around. I don't know how to I can be careful about these drawers. Elder says these titles are incredible. Agreed. I- why am I- I'm, I'm so intimidating. Pat says, help me find my shoes, please! Uh, oh, uh, you were empty. Okay, so not the empty ones. Uh, you weren't empty, were you? you oh. Whoops. What about you? A shoe! Hey, a shoe! Let's find the other one! I- I did not pay enough attention. A shoe! Hey, a shoe! Let's find the other! Okay, so there was one... There? And one there? Nope. Oh no, the anxiety meter. I need magic shoes! Ah! Oh. Um. Okay. Nope. This one and and this one. Oh, okay. We got some shoes. Great, we made a pair. Okay, wait, wait. Four at the top were empty. All right, that one was one of the like. Whoa. Oh no. Yeah, this one's definitely a memory game. So that one was like a little, like, crocodile trainer. Is it the same as last time? 
Ghost stuff. Ooh. I think it might be the same as last time. I'm not sure. Oh no. Uh. Is it you and you? No. Oh, I'm not good at this. Um. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, second pair of shoes, another round. We're safe. So where was that, like, uh, trainer? It was at the bottom, right? Is it here? Oh, no. It was not there. Is it here? Oh. Nope. Was Everything's moved. This is not the same. <laughs> <laughs> so badly. Jibalsa is not the same between rounds. It, it does not. Oh, it does not appear to be. Oh no. I'm making only bad. This is so random. Please, just give me a. Sh cool. It winked at us. That's not scary. Tefrax says returns to the stream to see a quivering anxiety meter. Yeah. I don't think I, I haven't even found a single one of the shoes. I just just give me a shoe. How many lives do I get? Okay, there's a shoe. Where haven't I clicked? That was one. Are you one? Oh, fate. Chance. It has saved me. My shoes. I did it. I can't believe it. You found all three pairs of shoes that I own. Every shoe is kind of represented here. Brown, sneaky, and tropical. <laughs> you know, looking at them now is kind of giving me performance anxiety, actually. Maybe I should just go bear flipper like I usually do. Oof. Sorry, I'm just so nervous. I'm not thinking straight. I'm sorry I made you come back here for nothing, but I really appreciate that you did. <laughs> I found a puzzle piece. Oh, jeez. Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad we met today. You're the best pal I've had in a long time. <laughs> I'm getting all mushy. You get back out there and dig up more dirt, and I'll text you just before... <gasps> the event. See you later, investigator. <laughs> Alright. Who are you? Nope. Ah! Ooh. I've spoken to you. I don't mind dining alone. It's serene sharing a meal with just me, myself, and I. The kind of serenity that involves not having to hear anyone else. Yeah, I've spoken to Charlene before. I guess it's time to go? How do I get out? Oh yeah, the arrow. This is a great game. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the Brodega. Urgh. Found a puzzle piece at the Brodega. Who's this? Fifth William the Fourth. <laughs> Oh boy, that sign flower looks as tasty as ever. I come here most days to stare at her. But I usually leave when someone calls the alligator police or I slip and fall down in a rather overwrought fashion. <laughs> okay. So many puzzle pieces here. I've been to the arcade. Alright, I think it's time to go somewhere else. Where was the new shop that we were given a text about? I'm not sure you can complete the mother, the mother's family tree game in one playthrough anyway. Uh, do we see an antique shop here? No. Let's see. Let's try down downtown. I guess we haven't been there. <laughs> He's just sitting with his arms up. I love it. She also tried downtown. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Who are these people? Mona the Snipper. 
Are you here about joining the resistance? Come to the front door, but don't let the feds tail you. The password is the only thing worth fighting for. Justice Absolute. Which is also the name of my favorite Mark leaning ska band. Yes, I said favorite. There are more than one. <laughs> there are two, as a matter of fact. Their first single was about putting a potato in the tailpipe of a crooked alligator governor when he tried to join their mailing list. No GMOs. That's no governor's may opt in. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be a full conversation. Whom? I'm Mona, but you can call me by my online handle for safety, which is Kpop Angel 85 <laughs> What? I can have other interests besides the cause. Pat? Do you mean Hat Pat, or do you mean Bat Pat? No, no, you probably mean Hat Pat. Bat Pat is my high schooler neighbor that used to pick me up for DSA meetings on Fridays, until he got grounded. He'd apparently broken his Nine Eyes favorite set of extremely fragile and large-eyed porcelain deer with something? A club? Hmm, well, that's not important. Do you think maybe it was a bat? <laughs> we'll spring him eventually. Yes, Dad, I mean legally. Anyway, Hat Pat is an, an okay dude. I barely know the guy, but he still made me a punch-proof vest to wear to protest to protest out of Dr. Soda bottle caps. He's a stand-up alligator. Alligator? Wait. He maybe drinks too much soda, though. Doesn't he know what the government puts in that stuff? I'd tell you, but the CIA agent that watches my cell phone would probably delete my Chumbler in vengeance. Chumbler? That's where I keep all my pictures of day one. The event? Which? I have four events to go to this week alone. Like tomorrow, it's Minestrone Monday at the soup kitchen. Then it's on to Taco Tuesday at the women's shelter. Wednesday doesn't have a funny name, but everyone does get those cupcakes with the white squiggles as an extra at the alligator food bank. <laughs> if you're talking about tonight, though, you might as well go act like a cop somewhere else, Officer Pinstripes. I don't rat out my comrades. My mind is bolted up so tight, the Count of Monte Cristo has spent years trying to escape from me whilst plotting his vengeance against those who wronged him. We just finished reading that book in my Tuesday Lit class. Pretty baller, TBH. I love revenge. And breakfast. <laughs> okay, Elder says I love them. Yeah, they're pretty great. Let's go. Listen, I'm not trying to give you crud about Pat or something. I'm just a little stressed out. Not to go to all first world problems on you, Bobs, but I've got a zine due to be scanned by tomorrow afternoon. If I miss this deadline, it won't get printed in time for the indie comic slash annual people with bangs convention next weekend. Do you know how long it takes to staple a stack of these zines? At least two full episodes of listening to Gator Crater, a true crime podcast about the world's most blown up alligators. Yes, Dad, I also have Algebra 2 homework. If you could help me put some of these pictures together, maybe I could give you the straight dope about that dope. So are you ready to join the resistance? Are we going to do this? Smells like zine sprint <laughs> spirit. Make paper word salad because your voice is valid. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Mona's zine needs to cover three topics evenly. Choose a clip to add to the zine, then click the page to glue it in place. Be careful, some clips cover two topics at once. So check it, pinstripes. I've already done all the hard zine stuff, like picking the clips and cutting everything with semi-straight lines. I need you to pick a good selection, then glue them into place. Sadly, ever since the stickening of 2017, I'm not allowed to use glue myself. Or glue sticks. Or rubber cement. Or large stickers. Or small stickers! So you're going to have to be the hero that sticks the pics. This scene encompasses, of course, the three most important, most zeedy things possible. I'm talking about social issues, indie comics, and K-pop. Obviously. These three topics go together like peanut butter jelly and a third comparable thing that escapes me in this moment. <laughs> oh my gosh. But that doesn't mean we can lean into any one more than the other. Tefrax has normalized references to 19th century adventure literature in everyday conversation. <laughs> My zine has to be balanced or people will think I'm biased. That means no page space for anything more, one thing more than the other. So pick up a pick and get ready to stick. Careful though, I have a limited selection of content and glue is forever. Just ask my hamster. Oh no, is that the glue incident? Rip in Valhalla, Gooby the Third. No! No! 
When you're done, we'll ask the editor if it's ready to scan, so get pasting. No! No, no, no. The cover is really important. It has to portray the essence of what's on the inside. So it's sort of like choosing what ironically humorous t-shirt to sport at the Ro Rosh Hashanah that really unsettles your extended family. What have we got? Wibbly Finn's Truth? Fanzine local indie comics. And what have we got here? Bundle, an indie comic zine. Hmm. Let's see. I, I want this one. This one really makes you think about staring out a window and being made to think. Yep. Don't forget to balance the topics. I wouldn't want anyone to accuse me of political bias. Or standing bias. <laughs> okay. Together. For eight ever. <laughs> okay, so no next one can't be K-pop. I don't know what that is, but it's like a, a comic. Lol, I'm going to send this one to everyone I know. And some people I don't. If you type random numbers into your phone, they have to go somewhere, right? Okay, Wibblyfin. Do we really want someone who eat a sad lunch for another term in office? <laughs> Flashbacks to um <laughs> to Ed Miliband eating a BLT. Some UK politics for you, sadly. TBH, this one kind of mondo bums me out. All right. I didn't win the Xen Award last year's con, but I did place third in Cool Bangs. It's good to hear. Okay, okay. Interview with Joshua Ransom. <laughs> Wait, should I read this? So it was a q and I didn't really get an interview. This is just what I hope he'd say to me. Love you, JR. Hope you read this. Question. Ah, answer. Oh, that's okay. I love you. Question. What type of girls do you like? Answer. Oh, any kind, but mostly the kind that are like you on the inside. Question. Who is doing the costuming for your next tour? Answer. Actually, the designer couldn't do it anymore because you look like the perfect person to take his place. <laughs> Question. What's that amazing smell of flowers? What is it? Answer. I admit this amazing smell when I'm near someone I might have feelings for as long as it's okay with them. <laughs> Question. From name. Would you be our new costume designer and also live with me forever? Answer, from interviewer now becoming interviewee. Oh my, oh I couldn't, okay fine I'll do it. All right, our last cover was staring out a window. So we should do a spread, I wanna put this amazing Q and A in. <laughs> Jabal says, damn it, now I feel empathetic towards Wibbly Finn, right? Nine says, I'm kind of liking the muted colors in the game today, suffering through a mild migraine. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it is nice that the colors are quite muted. This one's a real exclusive. I can't believe we got it. <laughs> the last inside page is a hard hitter. You have to really leave them wanting more. Like, really actually more. Like, maybe they'll give you a couple more bucks to pick up a few more for their comrades. Uh, so we can't do any more K-pop. <laughs> so we can do more Wibbly Finn. <laughs> this is Lois. She feels Wibbly Finn is an inadequate mayor. <laughs> Stay golden, Lois. Um, and the next one. What am I even looking at? I guess it's another comic. The sad comic? Sad weird comic? I'm so confused. What's this one? Kissandra with every beat of my heart I long for you. Douglas! I'm very stoic and don't like anyone because of my tragic past. But you, Kissandra, have broken through my harsh scaly exterior and changed me with your extremely quirky personality, inability to cook, and unusually beautiful singing voice. I think I need to do this sad comic. 
This one really taps into the deep well of the soul. We're almost there. Just paste on the back cover and we'll be done. Well, it can't be Wibbly Finn. I think it might need to be another comic. Okay, what's this? Oh no, this isn't actually, this is, this is more K-pop. This is a Mayor Wibbly Finn. <laughs> Gerrymandering fingers, partisan teeth. This is the okay hand and this is the gerrymandering fingers. <laughs> the front cover was comics though, was it? I thought the front, the original, the actual proper front cover, not as page spread, was um, staring out a window. Well, that's Mayor Wibblyfin again. Wait, is it both? Mayor Wibblyfin would make a terrible addition to the K-pop group 8 Guys. So this is 8 Guys and Wibblyfin? I guess I should do both of them. This one makes a really solid case, I feel, which is Mayor, that Mayor Wibblyfin would make a terrible addition to eight guys, and therefore he shouldn't be voted in again. You're all done. Hand it over. Yes, this is perfect. Let's show it to the editor for approval. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, uh, sure. Whatever. World's daddest mug. Pretty good. Looks like we're all set to scan and send to the printers. I'm not sure we could have actually lost that one. <laughs> Nine says, if, wow, I wish my tails could embezzle for me. I'd be super rich. Each page is balanced and checked and earned my respect. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hmm, that's a pretty rad tagline. If I had a public access channel talk show, which is 100% in the cards, by the way, if I keep up B Plus's second term, that would definitely be my sassy catchphrase. Anyways, the event is a gross allocation of funds, if you want my opinion. And did you know helium is a finite resource? Seriously, Ali, Google it. <laughs> Every balloon at the shindig is basically a big heck off to the folks that really need it. Like scientists and clowns that are down on their luck, but have hopeful hearts. I'll see you there tonight, comrade. Bring your favorite safety pin covered jean vest for righteous popping. All right. <sighs> well, this is the antique shop. Here's a person that says, I sell bug. <laughs> Someone asleep in a car? Someone leaning dramatically against the wall? I want to talk to this person. George. The breeze. The practicing quartet. What a perfect day to be a live alligator. Aw. Sleepy pants. <laughs> Aw. Hello. 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 <laughs> hey. <laughs> One of them just talks. Oh, hello! <laughs> We're the downtown quartet and we'll sing you a song. It's not a very short one, but it also ain't long. We'll sing it in the morning and we'll sing it past noon. We've had a lot of noise complaints and we'll be gone soon. Hit the solo, Maurice! To jail? <laughs> They're going to jail? These guys, they have a quest for me? I'm so surprised. Jabal says, I feel like popping balloons near Pat is a bad, bad plan. I also think that. When the dad said that Pat loves balloons, I was like, this is a mistake. <laughs> Nine says helium. The balloon lobby's a real thing. The helium shortage is a real thing, Wing? I had no idea. Why the heck are we putting it in balloons? Wow. Unexpected. Okay. Whom? Denise, Louis, and Patrice, and Maurice. Pat? We're Pat's aunts and uncles. He's our darling nephew. All except for Louise, who's just part of the crew. Take it, Louise. Oh, baby, I'm not related to Pat. No, nothing like that. I'm just a guy they know that takes part in the show. <laughs> Whoa, dude, pull it back. 
Sorry. The event? We can't tell you much, but we'll sing like a bird. If you can help us with our act, we'll tell you all that we heard. Okay. Give them a solo without triggering an oh no. Alright. Help the alligator quartet hit their solos. When the scrolling bar shows a singer's background, point the spotlight at them. Okay. Let's first warm up our vocal cords. Keep an eye on the scrolling bar at the bottom. Shine the spotlight at the singer with the matching background. When the groovy disco pattern appears, shine the spotlight at the disco ball and we'll all sing together. I missed that none of that went into my brain. Oh no. Ready gentlemen? Ready maestro? Oh no, none of that went into my brain. Uh. <laughs> What am I supposed to show it at then? Oh, it's, it's based on the pattern. Okay. And then that's disco ball. Okay, I understand. It looks like I've lost all my lives. Oh no. I did very badly. They're all very unhappy with me. I'll retry. I really wish I could remember. Keep an eye on the scrolling bar. Shine the spotlight at the singer with the matching background. And shine the disco ball. When is the disco ball? Okay, okay, okay. This is surprisingly hot. Did I do okay that time? <laughs> Say, that felt pretty good. What do you think, fellas? Not enough Patrice time. Patrice demands more solo time. Okay, one more time for Patrice. Oh no, more rounds. <laughs> so bad. So silly. Oh, this is so silly. <laughs> well, to my ears, that sounded. I feel like I could have had more timber. Timber? Come on. It's a singing word. I'm a real singer and I'm gonna prove it. Okay, okay, last time. All right, everyone. Give it everything you've got. All right, we're starting here. <laughs> Really struggle to tell the black and green apart. Somehow. <laughs> Apologies to everyone listening right now. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't preserve all my life this time, but it was cool to do it last time. Crazypedia, hello and welcome! Crazypedia says encore! <laughs> uh... Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, jeez! So many family badges! Oh, jeez! Come on, man. Oh, right, sorry! <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. You helped us with our song and to improve our content. Now what we're gonna tell you is we're booked at the event. 
Thanks for all your help. Now we'll see you in a wink. Unless we get arrested, then please bring us from the clink. <laughs> uh... Hey, city pal. I was just wondering since we've been texting a bunch. Um, have you heard of 9th Street Station at all? I haven't. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't think so. It's, uh, well, it's been closed for a few years. Not a lot going on there since then. It's still got some of the most beautiful architecture of all the underground stops in the city, IMO. I really like to go there, actually. I was just thinking, um, if you ever wanted to stop by there, maybe I could meet you. No pressure or anything. You'd probably have to really help a conductor out to even get access. It's pretty underground. Raffle. <laughs> okay, I was actually on the floor that time, but I'd fallen unrelated to laughing. Anyway, haha, <laughs> don't worry about the ninth street. You can forget what I said. If you want. Okay. I think we have a limited time left before the party, which I think is it, is it at seven or eight? Do we want to go and meet this person who's been speaking to us, or do we want to go to the antique shop where the grandmother with the haunted armoire is? I'm happy to just take chat's opinions on this. Common Belt says ACAB, absolutely. It's at eight, I'm pretty sure, Sister Bell. Okay. Jabal says, I want to find out who the mysterious texter is. Hmm. Okay, that's one vote for the texter. Is there a puzzle piece here? I knew it. I sell bug. Papuli. Bugs! Bugs for sale! More than one even, unlike what the sign implies. <laughs> yeah, I sell bugs here. No, not for baiting, for eating. We're alligators and we eat bugs, which is something you know because you exist here, canonically. Anyway, get bug buy-in or good buy-in, kiddo. I ain't got all day. Because I gotta sell bugs to feed my family with different bugs, which I buy with an alligator currency. Uh, I'll talk to them, but I'm not gonna do their event, I don't think. Nine says, I love how this game can't seem to decide what decade it is and doesn't even care to try. Yeah, the cardboard glasses are pretty good. Whom? Most people call me Papuli, but my real name is Mortimer Giles Jr. the third and a half on account of my grandfather being perfectly bisected by a wheat thresher during the Great Depression. Miraculously, he survived, but his life wasn't without its problems, such as how it was hard to see him when he turned directly to the side. Gampa, where are you, we'd call, but to no avail, he'd already slipped through a crack in the decorative linoleum. It's the last time we ever saw him, and also when those basement sounds started up. But look at me rambling here to a youth about cellar screams and the like. <laughs> what? Hat. Eh, did you say Pat? That's my grandson's name. But also the name of the nurse that comes to massage the kinks out of my tail on Tuesdays. Did you mean Pat or Pat? You'll have to speak up. I'm hard of hearing due to a condition where I stop listening mid-sentence and think about the war. Oh no. The event. Hey, event? I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I have a selective memory disorder, you see, in that I forget about things I don't really want to go to. <laughs> Perhaps you could jog this old man's memory if you helped me out with a favour. You see, the only photo I have left of my dear late wife Martha has also been the victim of a wheat thresher accident. I can't seem to put it back together again. Oh, how I'd give anything to see Martha's sweet smile again. Care to help this old softy gaze upon his lost, lost love once more? <laughs> Make my wife, please. I'm going to pass on this one. I'm going to go and do one of those other quests. I think we can always get a couple more in. That's okay. I'll probably be dead soon anyway. Oh my gosh. Okay, Jubal says we want to meet the mysterious texter. Where do I get to the... How do I get to the... The... The station. Oh. Hello. I'm not sure where the... Where the station is. It's abandoned, so it's probably in the unsavory part of town? Let's try that. Aldi says, lol, cheerful guy. Yeah. Ninth Street Station. Hmm. We've already spoken to everyone around here. Puzzle piece. 
Luck. Luck. No, I can't actually seem to luck. get anywhere luck. from luck. here. Luck. 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 It wasn't at the Met at Memorial Park. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know where it is. Nine says, you know, most people have died at some point. I never tried it myself, though. True, true. Jabal says the fun district has the tram stopped at it, right? You can't click on it. Uh, let's give it a go. Because I think to use the tram, you click on the... Um, you just click on the sign, like I've been getting on the tram every time. On, on the little map you've got. Click on the conductor's door while riding the tram. No, I've clicked on that a lot of times. It definitely doesn't do anything. Oh, I've run out of time. I've been traveling too much. Hey, are you there? It's Pat. I know we haven't figured out what the family's totally nefarious secret is yet. Well. But maybe if we walked there together, I'd feel safer. Is that okay? I'm on my way. Okay, we might we might have been able to do a game if I hadn't traveled around. That's a shame. Uh, who is this? Sleezarius? Well, hello and pleasant evening, my good chum. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh no, I didn't mean to startle you. Not I! Hee-hoo! <laughs> you see, it is within my very nature to skulk mysteriously around corners and the like in deft silence. As my mother was a mysterious slipper designer and my father was mysteriously absent. Well, okay. Yeah, in the cutscene, you can't click on the conductor's truck drawer. I've clicked it many times. <laughs> oh, there's Bub. Yeah, the hat with the eyeball nine is good. Welcome back, esteemed guest. I'm afraid our kitchen is closed early for a closed event in the hotel ballroom tonight. I have provided Mr. Pat with some complimentary stale oyster crackers and tap water. If you'll follow me, I can show you to his room. Uh, Conley Belts, not anymore, because I think this we've we've uh, finished this round of the game. Uh, pardon me, we'll begin walking at your leisure. <laughs> My, what beautiful wallpaper we have. So rich and distracting. We've arrived. Please inform Mr. Pat he can't have any more tap waters after you knock. <laughs> I'm so glad you came back. I've just been guzzling tap waters and stress eating these funny crackers the waiter gave me. Even though I'm not going to wear them, I went and got all my shoes out anyways. I think just for the company. It's scary being alone in here. And now the event is about to begin. But maybe since you're here, nothing bad will happen. This counts as something bad happening. Do you have a flashlight? I'm scared of the dark. And of flashlights, but slightly less so. Hey, you found one! Do I look like that one video by Alligator Queen? Hopefully with this, we can make it through the corridors of the hotel to the ballroom where the event is safely. Just walk really close to me, okay? We have no way of telling who or what is out in those twisty halls. Nine says, above the waiter constantly looks like they're about to have an anxiety attack. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Navigator. Embark in the dark. Alright, let's go. The power's out. Click and hold to guide Pat through the dark hotel. Okay. <laughs> A reminder of the inevitable passage of time that will one day consume us all into the infinite. Also, I can't read analog clocks. <laughs> Sorry, Pat. Oh no. Please, anything but Marty. <laughs> Ugh, Marty, that's the one who came out of the grill. Uh, 
I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> just something unwholesome about reading graphic novels in the pitch dark sediment of a broken hotel wall. <laughs> there really is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why was it graphic novel specifically? Did you see it move? I think I saw it move. All right, so that was just like a cardboard cutout. Wait, did I go down already? It's it's the from the intro. Well, Mandy? I'd ask what he's doing here, but he is attracted to spotlights. Like a moth that smells like hair gel. We met Mandy in the park as well, didn't we? Alright, I think we've made it. <laughs> You're enjoying all of the things, everyone. All of the hilarious jokes. Hang on, let me move my little gloved hand. This is the worst party I've ever been to. It's simply dreadful, even worse than last year's. Even worse than the rap party for the Gucci modeling shoot I did. That's Gucci adult-sized baby bonnets for strange alligators. Even worse than the release party where they found my ex-boyfriend, the house music DJ, run through with a claymore. Oh no, I gave her that claymore. I for sure wasn't anywhere near there, of course, but how awful. Simply dreadful. Uh, oh hey! Sup, old and moldy? You down for another heist? Sorry to pull you back in the game, but with a cake like this, how can you resist one last score? <laughs> There's a puzzle piece in that cake. Having to sit still for this long is harder than that time I did a squat-a-thon in my pants split due to the meaty glute offshoot. At least then I got new yoga pants and raised $100 for guys without thighs. It's an important organization, bro Yoko. <laughs> so this is just like the end of the game where you talk to everyone. Oh, let's talk to Joni! Hey there. I got worried you guys wouldn't make it on account of the blackout. Got scared of the dark. And hallways. And parties, come to think of it. This usually doesn't end well as, as well as this, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Us soda kid? My dad said the dentist IRA was getting a little too literal for me, and so I got grounded from soda for a billion years. Now I'm only allowed to have this fizzy fruit lacroc, which is just carbonated water that a lemon sneezed in or something. I already miss the sweet, sweet chemical burn of Dr. Soda pickling my small internal organs. <laughs> hey, it's you! Comrade Pinstripes! Good news! Pre-orders on my blog for the zine are already through the roof! Since five copies are already spoken for, I'm sure to sell out all seven by the end of the convention! With the word getting out like this, we'll def get Mayor Wibblyfin's resignation within the week. Or at least he might take my petition about planting more trees in Alligator Memorial Park more seriously. He'd better, or those edited videos of him set, set to humorous fart sounds and kazoo music aren't going to stop being posted to Snoopbook. Hold your local government accountable, or they'll get a meme in. <laughs> Anyone I particularly want to talk to? Oh, obviously I want to talk to Slick Mickey. Hey, put it here, old pally. It's time for an old-fashioned handshake. Just ignore the snail trail. I'm told it's full of vitamins and helps with drying. In that it comes out my limbs and leaves you crying. Oh. Hey, where you going? <laughs> this is the mum? Oh, I'm so proud of my Patrick. He didn't threaten a coat rack shadow with a stapler and jump out a window. Or dump the punch bowl in the toilet thinking it was poison. This is already going so much better than his birthday last year. <laughs> it's gonna be the end of the game. Who's hiding right at the back on, on the right behind the pillar, Sister Bell? <gasps> it's the hide and seek kid! Yes, skids! Oh, hi again. You found me, hee <laughs> hee. Thanks for always playing. 
Next time I'll look for you. <laughs> I'm so happy. I wasn't getting rubbed out. I was getting birthday clout. It's so nice to have my beloved family here with me. We're going to take a big family photo and everything. That means you too, if that's okay. Everything you did for me today, it'll really mean so much to me. You're a really special friend. I can't thank you enough. Oh, come on, everything is ready for the photo. Except for you. Follow me. All right, now we get to choose what we look like. I like this friendly one. But I like these eyes. Wait, no. <laughs> the biggest body. Always glasses. Oh, are these round ones? <laughs> I quite liked white. Alright. LJ says it's like a reverse of game for you choose your character's looks at the start. Yeah. Congratulations! This is us with all of Pat's family that we interacted with. All done. Oh. The game is won, the story ends sweet, but though it seems done, has this all been deceit? What's really going on does our tale end right here. The more family you come upon, the more truth will grow clear. So, uh, it's a game it's a wonderful game. It's a game design that you play it multiple times because there's not enough time each run through to speak to every member of the family. Like this time we didn't go into the shop. I think on my last playthrough I went in the shop. I haven't ever been to the abandoned station yet. Um, it was really fun. Uh, I'm curious about the fact that you're a mysterious stranger who turns up and you're wearing- you're huge and wearing a pinstriped suit like a, a cartoonish like mobster. Like, I wonder whether there's actually something deeper going on. You unlocked Pat Game Skip. More mysteries await you in Alligator, New York City. Oh, jeez. Oh. So I could go back in and I could skip the games I don't want to do? Interesting. Anyway, I hope you all really enjoyed it. That's probably the only run I'm going to do on stream. Um, but I had a really, really good time. Um, and I, I hope you all did as well. I highly recommend Later Alligator. It's absolutely brilliant. This is my second time playing it and I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, I, I had a really good time. On Friday, I think I will be playing... Ooh, I'm gonna see how I feel. I'm either going to be playing Feather, a game in which you just it's free roaming being a bird, um, I, I think, I believe it has no real goals. It's just kind of exploration. Or I'm going to be playing uh, Strange Horticulture, which is a point-and-click detective game where you own a, a, a plant shop and are collecting plants and use that to solve mysteries and interact with covens and, and um, cults. So that sounds good as well. Uh, so we'll see how that goes uh, and what order I play these things in. But thank you all very much and I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. So bye everyone.